Speaking of the consumer, the Hispanic population, one of the fastest growing in the United States, has seen a big jump in household wealth in the past decade. Our Contessa Brewer is at the Latitude Conference in Miami Beach with some fresh data on that. Hi again, Contessa. Hi there, Carl. Yeah, Latino household wealth is growing. In 2013, median net worth a little more than $15,000. And then by 2019, the latest year that we have full data, it had more than doubled to 36000 Much of that fueled, of course, by real estate, which accounts for more than half of Latinos' household wealth. And high mortgage rates, as you might imagine, are now really becoming a hurdle to first-time home buyers. According to a new report from the Hispanic Wealth Project, Latinos who own a home have a stunning, get this, 27 times the median net wealth of those who rent. I like to say that home ownership is the gateway to the middle class, but business ownership is the path to prosperity. And Latinos that own small businesses have five times the wealth as, as those that don't. So entrepreneurship is a centerpiece. Uh, it's kind of like in our DNA to a certain degree. And Latino, Latinos are starting businesses at twice the rate of their non-Hispanic white counterparts, often, though, with investments from family or friends. And so they face huge hurdles to access to capital. We've been talking a lot about that on CNBC. Latitude Ventures aims to change that here. They're investing in entrepreneurs and growing and scaling businesses. Other drivers to growing wealth here, education, participation in the stock market, and the Hispanic Wealth Project says Latinos are just now beginning to age into their prime earning and investing years. So we expect to see more growth here and a status report about whether they will hit their goal of tripling Hispanic household wealth in a decade. We'll, we'll find that out later uh, in this fall, maybe in November, guys. And Kades, I was just sort of wondering about that. Obviously, this is a, a population that is growing in numbers and growing in power when it comes to wealth and otherwise in the job market. And so the, is that the projection? If we've already doubled income from 15,000 for the median to 36,000, what are the projections, say, for the next six years? And how are they going to get there? What investments um, are they undertaking to see that wealth grow? So that decade goal will be up next year in 2024. The latest data that they're basing it on is due out by November. But they said, by the way, they said, oh, and we're looking at some numbers from the Fed this week, as long as the government shutdown doesn't interfere with all of that. So we'll see how that goes. You know, the interesting part is that while they have hit their markers and their goals on increasing home ownership, on increasing entrepreneurship, where it's still falling short is diversification in um, investing. For instance, in 2013, 25.1% of Latinos had a retirement account, a 401k or something like that. By 2019, it was 25.5%. They only saw four tenths of a percentage point growth. So that's one area that's going to come into focus here about how to get more people to diversify their investments.